<laughs> no, no. Hi everyone, my name's Nathrez and welcome to a very special episode of CSGO with Nathrez. This is a very special episode because I have finally cracked my ace virginity. I have finally done it. I have killed all five players in one round of CSGO on my own without dying. Just to kind of define what an ace is. Um, I was actually going to make this into a little mini-series. Um, because I thought this is going to take me absolutely weak. Like, I might not even get an ace. Like, seriously, that's like the levels we're talking. I thought I would never get it. And I thought, we'll run a little mini-series. You know, maybe three, four, five episodes. And basically see if I could get the ace. Well, anyway. Turns out, I actually get it on my second session. My kind of second day of sitting down and going, right, I'm going to try and get an ace. Or, you know, work towards getting better at getting an ace. So what I've done is kind of compiled a bunch of clips, as you can see in this clip at the end where I got four kills. I basically got four kills about a gazillion times. I think that's the only way I can say it. I, it was literally about a gazillion times I got four kills. Um, and then once, and only once my had since, and I got this ace probably like a week or so ago now. Like, I just haven't managed to get another one. Still, I've had like another two or three four kills, but I've never got the five again. I don't actually know how rare they are to get. Like, I know that sounds really stupid because obviously it depends how well you're playing and how bad the other team are playing. Just like then they were playing really bad. Um, I know it obviously depends on that kind of stuff, but like some people, like some pros, must jump into matchmaking um, and get like what, like an ace a day or like an ace every other game or do you know something? I feel like you should get them fairly regularly. I don't know how like rare they are. Um, I actually really enjoyed going for the ace in this um, clip actually, as you can see they're trying to kick me because they thought I was sat back in spawn, they didn't realise I killed the two flankers. As you can see the rounds are 12 and 1, right, 12 and 1. So we were getting dicked by these two guys that kept flanking us. So I thought I'm going to buy the orcs, I've saved some money and I'm going to take out the two flankers. And then because the team were angry at me for camping back in spawn, um, they started to kick me and were literally like at this point, whoops, um, they were literally screaming abuse down the mic at me. Like you'll see the mic keep flashing, flashing up in the left hand side. It's like, oh, we're going to kick you. Why are you sitting back in spawn? Yada, yada, yada. It's like, whatever. I'm just trying. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm actually paying attention to what's going on in this game. I can see there's two guys that keep flanking us. Whatever. Um, so I actually really, like I said, really, really enjoyed going for this. Um, it's really like annoying to try and go for an ace and the reason I say that is because like it happens luckily like here here I should have got an ace um but it happens luckily or it happens by being a lurker like I have never seen anyone get like four kills so far where you've gone around as a group because it just doesn't work like the ace that I get at the end of this video spoiler alert <laughs> I get because I play the lurker and I pay attention to the game so I see like somebody keeps flanking and, and whatever like you you pay attention to the game I don't feel like if you just run around randomly it's going to happen I don't think I don't know like I said I, I literally don't know I don't know enough about this this was 4 on 1 may I say 4 on 1 5 and 1 sorry 5 and 1 this clip was this is why I think I should have got the ace here no just spinning around da -da 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 I'm actually gonna unmute this bit because I really like this guy in a second so I'm basically trying to save and then I was like oh there's no point you can go for it and then that's right literally randomly shot through the flash and got him and this is why I should have got this ace because it's 1v1 and yes the bomb should have been down but I feel like I should have pushed that put, ugh, pushed that a bit harder and try and got another ace personally um as you can see i've been playing a lot with the orp as well like i have been watching so much competitive counter-strike over the last ben really ben what a time what a time ben brilliant um i have been watching so much competitive counter-strike like over the last month and i have decided that jw is my favorite player like, he is just insane with the orp so i've decided or decided that I'm going to 
practice the snipers a bit more. Like the scout, jump scouts on Mirage are just so much fun. Like I am absolutely loving it. Yeah, so you can see here, I'm still not the best with the AWP. Um, I actually prefer the scout to the AWP in a lot of situations. I find the AWP to be really bulky. Like you walk very slow with it and it just feels like you're lumbering a lot of the time. I, I don't know how else to say it. I just feel like I'm weighed down by the AWP. Um, this is actually the clip, guys. So this is the clip where you can see there's still a couple of minutes of the video left. Wasn't the fastest ace in the world. Completely admit it. Um, but yeah, the AWP feels bulky. So here, for example, this is what I was saying. So I'm training again. 9 and 1. Pretty similar to the 4 piece we got earlier. This wasn't in the same game, though. I promise you this wasn't in the same game. This was a whole separate game which kind of played the same. Um, I realised, look, this guy... Every single time was lurking. Every single time he was flanking around, and our team were doing nothing about it. Me included, as you can tell by the fact that it's nine and one. Now, I was also doing nothing about it. This guy here was irritating me. I just wanted to peek his arm, and that was enough. Now, what you're about to see is what I can only say as luck and genius meshed into one. What the fuck, indeed? What the fuck, indeed? That's why I left this bit in. You can win, you can win. Here, the guy was cheering me on. And it was completely different. See, everyone gets angry at you when you lurk in. And as soon as it goes well, it's, oh, like, go, dude. You know, it's like, whatever, you like bipolar or something like that. Like, I know I can play. Just let me play. Um, I was absolutely bricking myself here. Like, I was walking around, like, here. You can see how I'm just playing to the edge. Like, I literally had... No idea where this guy was. And then I thought, well, the bomb's down, so he's probably going to be heading around there. So I ran there. Bad idea. This is where it gets a bit tense. Is he near the bomb? That's when I heard the footstep. Boom. He gets the ace. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Bye-bye.